Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. This video is part of my reaction series, and today we're going to be talking about the TurboGrafx-16 Mini. Alright guys, so I would like to preface this video by saying that this is way outside my normal format for a video. I usually don't do reactionary videos to anything. In fact, uh, some of you may know that I record my videos a year ahead of time before release and just deal with things that way. And that way I don't have to worry about copyright strikes or anything like that. Usually the automated things come out and try to hit me as I have the video uploaded and set to private and be released a year later. So this is very off the cuff for me. So with all of that said, let's get on with it. E3 announced, well actually Konami announced it, the TurboGrafx-16 Mini coming out. I'm a great TurboGrafx lover. Uh, I <laughs> I, I, I love this this thing a lot. When I was growing up in the 16-bit era, it was the machine that I picked. I, I mowed lots of lawns and did all kinds of chores and saved up my money and got it. And then later, I saved up even more money and I bought the CD drive from Toys R Us. So this has a very special place in my heart, which is why I'm taking the time to do this reaction video and put it up as fast as I can. So people were confused about why Konami has, has this and nobody else. It's because Konami actually bought Hudson Soft. They own pretty much all of TurboGrafx-16, all of Hudson Soft, and they're able to do with it what they want. I think this is a great plan. They got to sit back and watch people do complete successes for their mini systems and complete failures for mini systems. And I think they've learned a lot from how the markets reacted. Although I still have a few concerns, I'm not trying to be negative. I never try to be negative in my videos, but I mean, it looks great. It looks like it's going to be HDMI. It looks like it's going to be USB controllers, it looks like it, you know, all, all kinds of stuff. But I'm going to get into some more of the detailed stuff. So with the controllers, there there are the, the turbo pad. You know, I grew up with the original turbo pad, so I'm going to be very critical of the turbo pad, in my own opinion, where where they need to be careful, where Konami needs to be careful. The pivot point on the D-pad needs to be correct. The, uh, the little knob in the bottom of the plastic when you take the controller apart, that's the pivot point. It needs to be the correct width, depth, height, you know, diameter. I mean, it, it, it needs to be correct. It needs to feel good. It needs to have that same feeling. There have been quite a few times where people have been disappointed by a D-pad. And it's an easy thing to fix. All they have to do is stick with the original. I'm really hoping that the system has a hue card slot. If it does, that would be great. It would be wonderful to be able to actually plug in hue cards. I'm not 100% expecting it, but you know, if, if you want a grand slam, if you want to knock it out of the park, put the hue card slot in Konami. Next up, we're, we're going to talk about the HDMI. One, I hope that it's not HDCP enabled. I'm hoping that people will be able to stream with this device and capture from it as well. I'm hoping for 720p, but I would really like to send C1080p with like a four-time scaler or something like that. I would also like to see a composite option on here as well, just so that people who wanted to hook this thing up to their CRT televisions could. Konami, you've got a lot of expectation 
I, I don't think that you're ready for how devoted the TurboGrafx-16 fan base is. It's, you know, the people who, who have taken the time to actually own the original hardware are going to be very, looking at this with a microscope. It's, you, you've got to get a few little things right and not cut the corners here. Speaking of cutting corners, I'm hoping that it comes with two turbo pads because it looks like there's two USB ports on the front. Also, there's an opportunity for the turbo stick, which is actually the arcade controller, to come out for this device. Back to HDMI and video output. Scan lines. It needs to be an option. Smoothing needs to be an option. 16x9 or 4x3 with black bars so that the 16x9 is enforced on the aspect ratio correctly would be great. And now we're going to get on with the games. So let's just go ahead and address the elephant in the room, is Rondo of Blood, Konami. This is as close to a warning as I can give you, if, if not a direct warning. If Rondo of Blood is not on a specific version of your mini system, do not expect that mini system to sell. Again, I will say it one more time. No Rondo of Blood, no sale of that system. People will be buying this system specifically looking for that game. If it's not there, people will be upset, and people will only buy the Japanese version, and all of the U.S. versions will sit on the shelf. Now, with all of that said, I have a couple of games that I would love to see on the system. Some of them have already been announced. So, first up, Liquid Kids. I, I think it's a great game. Super Star Soldier, which was already announced. I'm very happy about that. Although I think it's only on the Japanese system. I'm hoping it's on the U.S. That's another thing is I would really like to see not region-exclusive stuff. I would like to see all versions of all games, even if you guys have to use translations and stuff for us. Space Harrier should be on there. Psychosis, Parasol Stars. I'm a little bit biased, so I think that... Who is it? Wicked Phenomenon. or uh, No, Exile and Exile Wicked Phenomenon should both be on there, but you can leave those off. I mean, I, I get that they're RPGs and that they're, you know, working designs, which is why I'm a little bit biased. So, Parasol Star should be on there. Ninja Spirit, which has already been announced. Newtopia 1 and 2. I think Newtopia 1 was announced. Military Madness should be on there. Legendary Axe 1 and 2. Last Alert, Keith Courage should be on there. Final Lap Twin should be on there. I mean, come on, guys, they're pack-in games. This should be on there. Deep Blue, Kadash, Blazing Lasers, Alien Crush, which was announced, and Area Blasters. I really love Area Blasters. Specifically, the TurboGrafx-16 version of it is my favorite version of it. I have a, a long love affair with that game, but it should definitely be on there. Again, Konami. You have every TurboGrafx-16 fan's attention right now. And we're going to be looking at it under a microscope. There are... I think that you guys have made the best decisions possible by waiting as long as you have. I think this is one of the best options to play TurboGrafx in the modern day. Just because... It's so hard to actually maintain the original hardware with Metal Gears dying on CD drives and capacitors having to be replaced and stuff. I heard of some guy that was looking at a Turbo Duo at a reseller retro store that had just recently been recapped and all, you know, so all the capacitors were brand new. And it's $700. And that's, that, that's another thing, actually, is the price point. I don't see this thing being $100. I don't, I don't want it to be $100. I'm, I'm hoping that it's around 80 
I would love for it to be 60, but that's a little bit unrealistic. But Konami, you you have every TurboGrafx-16 fan's attention across all countries. We are devoted. We are very critical. Do not expect us to not compare this to original hardware being upscaled by something like the Retro Team 2X. But I'm very excited for the console. I'm looking forward to seeing what 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 more they're going to announce about it. I'm going to be following this very closely. And guys, tell me what you think about this. I, I know that there are some people out there that are saying, oh, another mini system. Oh, I'm sick of these and stuff like that. But Honestly, I'm, this is like one of the first mini systems that I'm truly excited for. And I, I would definitely love to hear what your thoughts are. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like what you see, you can support me and my channel on Patreon by clicking one of the links below. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.